algebraic expressions using formulas and rules. Look at the figure and find the pattern. Here, the first set of dots consists of three dots. Then, three new dots are added in the second set making it equal to six dots. Similarly, three more dots are added in the third set and hence making it equal to nine dots. This pattern will continue. Therefore, number of dots are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. Formula is equal to 3M where M denotes the position of the set of dots. Look at the figure and find the pattern. Here, the first set of lines consists of three lines. Then, two new lines are added in the second set, making it equal to five lines. Similarly, two more lines are added in the third set, making it equal to seven lines. This pattern will continue. Therefore, number of lines are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. Formula is equal to 2M plus 1, where M denotes the position of the set of lines. What is the formula to find the perimeter of a square? It is 4 into side. We can write it as perimeter is equal to 4 into side. When the side changes, the value of the perimeter changes. So the variable is actually the side. We can use the letters S for side and the letter P for perimeter. So, we can write this formula as P is equal to 4 into S or P is equal to 4S. Similarly, what will the formula of a regular pentagon be? A regular pentagon is a five-sided figure which has all equal sides. If the length of each side is S, the perimeter will be 5s. So, the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 5s. Perimeter of a regular hexagon is equal to 6s. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3s. Where else can we use a letter in a formula? In any formula. Think of the area formula. Area of a square is equal to side into side. So, we can write it as S into S or S square. Area of a square is equal to S square. What about area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. If we denote length as L and breadth as B, then area is equal to L into B. What about area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. If we denote base as B and height as H, then area of the triangle will be half into B into H, which is equal to BH upon 2. So, formulas can be easily expressed with the letter variables. We can even use letter variables to express rules in a pattern. Look at this pattern of numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. Looking at it, you can say that this is the sequence of even numbers. But how will you write it down as a rule? Well, the first term is 2. The second term is 4. The third term is 6. So, the tenth term is 20. What did you do? You took the term number and doubled it to get the actual term. So, the rule becomes nth term is 2n. Let's try some more. Look at this pattern of numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. Looking at it, you can say that this is the sequence of odd numbers. But how will you write it down as a rule? Well, the first term is 1, 
the second term is 3 the third term is 5 so the tenth term is 19 what did you do you can take the term number and double it then you subtract one to get the actual term see if it works for the first three terms it does so the rule becomes nth term is 2n minus 1 let's try some more look at this pattern of numbers 5 10 15 20 and so on looking at it you can say that this is a series of the multiples of 5 but how will you write it down as a rule well the first term is 5 the second term is 10 the third term is 15 so the tenth term is 50 let's find the rule the term number multiplied by 5 will give us the term so nth term is equal to 5n see if it works for the first three terms it does so the rule is the nth term is 5n we can find the patterns in geometry too how many diagonals can you draw from one vertex of a quadrilateral So, in a figure with four vertices, we can draw one diagonal from a vertex. How many diagonals can you draw from one vertex of a pentagon? So, in a figure with five vertices, we can draw two diagonals from a vertex. How many diagonals can you draw from one vertex of a hexagon? So, in a figure with six vertices, we can draw three diagonals from a vertex. What pattern do you see here? The number of diagonals from a vertex is the number of vertices minus three. So, before declaring it as a pattern, check it for a seven-sided figure and an eight-sided figure. It works. So, from a vertex, D is equal to V minus three. How many lines do you need for this pattern? In the first term, there are 7 lines. In the second term, there are 12 lines. So, 7 plus 5 lines. In the third term, there are 17 lines. So, 7 plus 5 plus 5 lines. In the fourth term, how many lines will be there? 22. That is 7 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So, with every term, 5 lines are added. But, in the very first term, there are 2 extra lines. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 lines of the first term. So, what's the rule here? For the nth term lines is equal to 5n lines for each term plus 2 extra lines for the first term, which is equal to 5n plus 2. Check this for the fifth term before declaring it officially. For fifth term, n is equal to 5. Therefore, 5n five plus 2 is equal to 5 into 5 plus 2. It becomes 25 plus 2, which is equal to 27. Does it work? Yes! Great! That means your answer is correct. You can express any pattern or sequence as a formula with a letter variable if you can break it down and analyze it like this. Can you express a pattern or a sequence as a formula with a letter now? 
Yes, I can do it. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.